Hi, I'm Jennifer. If it's your first time here, I'm glad you came by. I hope you stick around. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you for coming. If you've been here before, it's obvious that I'm doing something very different today. I'm kind of experimenting with different places to film. I've been filming in my kitchen, which lighting-wise is fantastic, but there's so much noise. Um, there's, there's always a dishwasher running or just something, or the dog eating. Or lately now there's a bird singing. We, my son got a parakeet. It makes noise all day long. So um, I'm just trying this. I'm upstairs in my hallway. and Yes, this is the ugliest wallpaper you've ever seen. I know. I know. But if you knew how much of it there was, you'd understand why I haven't started trying to deal with it yet. I'll get there. Today's video is different in several ways. Not only just where I'm filming, but I'm just kind of talking about some of the things I've really been enjoying lately. Um, just new things that I've tried that I think are definitely worth you giving them a shot and I thought I would just share those with you. So if you want to see what those are, just stick around. Okay, the first thing, let's start with this. Kind of the very first thing you would use anyway, right? This is the number seven Beautiful Skin Melting Gel Cleanser. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. Hopefully you can see that maybe. Um, I like this cleanser. I like it a lot. A little goes a long way. It's a weird consistency when you first put it on, but you put it on, you, you massage it in, you dampen it, it foams up, it rinses clean, and it does not strip my skin, but it does make my skin very clean. When I follow this with a toner, I almost never have anything on the, the sponge from the toner. The other thing that I'm doing differently today, and this is throwing me off a little bit, I finally figured out how to connect the camera to my laptop, and apparently it takes a lot of hand motions to explain this. Um, I've never done that before. I've always just talked straight into the camera, which is good and bad. But now I can. There's, there's me right there on my monitor. I can see me, so it, it's a little awkward. But I'm hoping that in time it will make my video quality better. Okay, moving on. Um, this came in last month's Boxy Charm. I probably would never have purchased this myself because it's very expensive. But now that I have it and I love it, and I'm afraid I might buy it later. Anyway, it is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Let's see if you can get that in there. I have only used it twice so far, but I really think I like this quite a bit. You, it's it's very gentle. It feels like I don't know. It's almost like a sand, like a really soft sand. But it's you you put it on like any exfoliator. But the trick is you leave it on for a couple of minutes and then you rinse it off. My skin feels amazing after I use this. It's a, I, I'm gonna keep using it to see how it does over time to see if it makes any long-term improvement on my skin, but boy, right now I really like it. And I think it's like almost $50 maybe, so ooh, that's a lot. Okay, let's address this real quick. This lipstick, this is dark. Um, I almost never ever wear dark lipsticks and I just thought I'd try this because I thought the color was pretty. I don't know how I feel about it. It just seems so harsh, but maybe that's just because I'm not used to it. So tell me what you think about it. Is that just like, Wah! so harsh it's awful? And also, um, this whole hair thing, I never wear my hair straight. I, I don't like it, but it seems like when I wear it straight, other people tell me that they think it's pretty. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I think it just looks like I was too lazy to do anything to my hair. So tell me what you think and let's move on. Next, what do we have here? This eye cream, holy moly. Again, I'm going to have to put my glasses on to read this. It's tiny. This is La Roche-Posay Redermic R for eyes. It is an anti-aging concentrate for eyes. Can I get that close enough? Can you see that? I don't think that's going to show up. Um, the first time I use this. I take my makeup off at night. I put it on before I went to bed. I'm not going to tell you that I woke up with no wrinkles because that would be a lie, but when I woke up the next morning and touched this area right here, I could feel the difference. It made that skin so soft and so moisturized and so plump, which as we know over time will reduce the appearance of wrinkles. This was expensive. It was I want to say it was about $45 at the drugstore, but I've been using it for 
I want to say about three weeks and I've hardly used any. It doesn't take a lot and you only use this once a day. You use it at night. I, if, if I continue to like it as much as I do, I can promise you I'll get more of this because so far I really like it. And because I like that so much, I thought I would try this one. Same brand. This is, again, La Roche-Posay uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Daily Antioxidant Serum with Sunscreen. So this is, can you see it? <laughs> I'm just not very good at this part. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. I'm afraid the glare is going to be too much. Um, this is this is a serum. It's an antioxidant. You use it in conjunction with your moisturizer. Um, I really like what this is doing for my skin. My pores seem a little smaller, and uh, it feels like it's just working with my moisturizer to make it work better. And an SPF of 50, you can't beat that because the sun is not our friend. Okay, moving on. I've had this forever, and I just wanted to point this out. Now, remember, I don't use powder every single day, generally speaking. But even that being said, this is the RCMA, uh, RCMA, their, their loose powder. I hate this applicator. I hate this. I, I poured mine into another powder applicator and use it that way. But I think this was $10, $11, maybe. I have had it, I bet I've had it close to a year. Maybe, maybe not quite that long. And, and you know, I don't know if that's good or bad. At some point it'll expire before I use it. But this is so finely milled, so lovely. There's no flashback when I use it with flash photography. This is just a fantastic powder and everybody that I know that has tried it has really liked it and you can't beat it for the price. I did have to buy it online but I think maybe maybe Sephora has it. I, I'm not positive. I'll try to remember to look that up. Okay, this is just a sample size but I am going to buy the big one. This is the number seven Airbrush Away Primer. I really like this. I'm, I have been a, a benefit professional diehard forever, but this is less expensive. It comes in a bigger container, and um, I really like it. I like what it does for my skin. It definitely keeps my makeup on longer. It smooths out my face, and it is slightly pore minimizing. So I think a full-size tube of this is about $20 at the drugstore, but remember that Walgreens, CVS, and even Ulta, they run specials on these different products all the time. So this is definitely one to um, grab when it's on sale and get something else as well. What else? This is kind of a random thing. If you've watched any video from me, you know that the, my eyebrows are the bane of my existence. They're, they're almost gone. I have a big bald spot on one side from chicken pox scars. I just, eyebrows are a problem. And coloring, eyebrow color is an issue for me. It seems like most of the pencils that you can get, um, or that I've been able to find, are too red, they're too dark, they're, they're just, I can never get a good color with, with a brow powder, with any brow product I've tried. However, this particular brow gel, and it is made by Milani, it is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. This one is in O2 Natural Taupe. This color, as far as I'm concerned, is the most perfect color match ever. I'm still trying to teach myself how to very effectively use a brow uh, gel like this. I'm not very good at it yet, but practice makes perfect, I hope. I wonder if you can hear that parakeet. All I can hear right now is this bird just chirping her head off in the background, which is good. It means she's happy. The other one died, so a happy one is a good one. But um, I hope it's not distracting to anybody but me. Moving on, another product from Milani. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. My experience with setting sprays so far has been, they seem to all work about the same for me. I, I haven't tried any high-end ones yet. I'm kind of new to setting sprays. But I've tried the Maybelline one, I've tried the L'Oreal one, and now this Milani one. The spray on this is so fine and so... It's just nice. It doesn't come at you and like poof, like that. It's just a very fine, hi Jennifer, hello. I'm just gonna nicely mist your face like fairy dust. That's what I like. And it doesn't have a weird smell. It doesn't make big spots on my face. And as far as I can tell, it keeps my makeup on as well as any other setting spray I've tried. But for this one, the mister alone is worth the price. And this is very inexpensive. All right, back to this whole lip thing. 
Okay, this is what I... Let's do the whole glasses thing again, shall we? The color of this one is... Uh, the light's so bright I can't see. 40 Believer. This is the... What is it? Superstay Matte Ink Lip Colors. I've talked about these before in different colors. This is a liquid lipstick, but it does not dry down completely like many of them do. It stays just slightly tacky. And as I've mentioned before, I uh, I like a, a little glossier lip anyway, so I top it actually usually with the Rimmel, what is it, Stay Gloss. I have several colors of this. Despite the color in the tube, it doesn't seem to affect the color of my lip gloss, my lipstick, so I just use whichever one's handy. But this, let it dry down until it's tacky, and then a coat of this will stay and stay and stay. That being said, this particular color does not stay after I eat. It stays on the most of the day, just, you know, living my life and doing my things. But the other two colors that I have, what do I have? Number 15, Lover, and number 10, Dreamer. These two pinks. One, they're beautiful colors. They're turn them around so you can actually see. They're gorgeous colors, especially this one. This is just a very nice kind of not really nude, but really neutral pink color that for me, for my coloring, I can wear every single day with almost every single eye look. And it does not come off. A coat of this, a little bit of gloss on top, it stays. I can eat with it on. I can I can just do whatever and it stays. Even in the middle, you know, where after you eat sometimes. I did notice if I ate, I think maybe it was a Caesar salad, something that had an oily base and it did come off then, but you would expect that with any lipstick. But these are absolutely worth the money. Go get some. The darker colors, eh, I'm, I, I, I've only tried this one today. I don't really know how well it wears. Other, it did come off quite a bit after I ate and it was just, it wasn't a pretty look. It was pretty messy the way it came off. So I, I'm not sold on that darkest color, but the, the other two, like I said, are fantastic. I just had a cool thing happen. Um, I've had problems in the past where my camera would stop recording and because I didn't have a monitor of any sort, I never knew when it happened and I would lose footage a lot. Just now, my camera shut off and I knew it happened. It was brilliant. It was lovely. I'm so excited. I feel like such a smart person today. <laughs> okay, last thing, and this is a very new thing. I've literally tried this one time. Uh, this is Cargo Around the World eyeshadow palette. Let me see if I can show you the inside. Maybe. Look how pretty. Just very neutral colors. Um, the beauty of this was I was at Ross doing some shopping I probably shouldn't have been doing anyway. And I thought, you know, they never have good makeup, but I keep seeing YouTube videos where people just happen upon these great deals at TJ Maxx. And uh, every time I go to TJ Maxx, all the makeup has been opened and it's a mess and people have been swatching it. And I wouldn't put that on my face. At Ross the other day, they had these pretty high-end eyeshadow palettes in those clear containers that are locked so you can't open them until you actually buy them, which was brilliant. And they had a couple of these. And um, I had heard of cargo shadows. I'd never tried them. I heard they were nice. And uh, I think the normal retail price on this was $30 or $35. And I'm not sure. I, think, I either paid $12 or $15 maybe for this. But for 12 eyeshadows for a high-end palette, $12, $15 is not. I used them for the first time this morning, and I am super impressed with these. The colors were creamy and nice. The blendability was amazing. I, I can't say enough about these, and I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have time to do a video and really show you what's in here and, and do some swatches. But if you happen upon these at Ross or TJ Maxx, and they've not been swatched all to death, buy it. It's awesome, and I will see... I'll look online and see if I can find it anywhere else and see how, how the price compares. I can't talk for some reason suddenly. I love these. They're my new best friend. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you so much if you watched all the way this far. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know if you are 
really horrified by all of this going on in the background. I am kind of thinking about doing some other things. I, I just don't know yet. But I know that this is weird to have the, the whole banister thing here and then, you know, a chandelier basically by my butt, which, you know, probably looks a little weird. I'm just experimenting. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like to because those just tickle me and, you know, why wouldn't you want to make my day? Come on. If you have not yet subscribed, I hope you would consider doing so. I hope you have a fantastic day. Lots of good things coming your way. And let's come on, bring on sweater weather. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.